The Miami Dolphins made attempts to improve the running back position this offseason and there's one player that could have plenty to offer. During the 2020 season, the Miami Dolphins saw plenty of growth from Miles Gaskin, who is currently expected to hold down the starting role for the team in 2021. The Dolphins have struggled to get consistency from their backfield in recent years, and the big-name free agent signings of Jordan Howard and Matt Breida failed to live up to expectations, leaving the likes of Salvan Ahmed to pick up the slack behind Gaskin. During free agency this year, the Dolphins brought in former LA Ram Malcolm Brown and in the draft Garrett Dokes was selected in the seventh round, 244th overall, out of Cincinnati, giving the team some depth ahead of training camp. Brown has put up decent numbers in a limited backup role since being drafted out of the University of Texas back in 2015, with 1188 rushing yards and 11 touchdowns off 298 attempts, averaging 4.0 yards per carry over his 70 NFL games, two of which were starts. But while the Dolphins will clearly rely more heavily on second-year quarterback Tua Tungavailoa to spread the ball around, with Devontae Parker, Will Fuller v. Jalen Waddell and even Albert Wilson and Alan Hearns as receiving options, a strong backfield effort will be needed to keep the offense performing at a high level. In order to do that, the Dolphins need as much competition for reps as possible, and the team should look into potentially signing veteran free agent back Le'Veon Bell, who was in talks to head to South Beach in 2020 before linking up with the Kansas City Chiefs. The Miami Dolphins do not appear to be done adding to their existing group, clearly recognizing the unit as a potential weakness heading into the 2021 season, so inquiring into Bell's interest and availability would not be a surprising move. Bell opted to join the Chiefs last season as he wanted to win, but also did not feel he could be the featured back at this stage in his career anymore, which would fit in perfectly with the direction the Dolphins are now taking this season. Gaskin is the incumbent starter, having shown exceptional growth from his rookie season and the addition of Brown and the return of Ahmed means that Bell could be used as a situational player, or split reps as the team's primary backup to keep him healthy and playing regularly. He is not the dominating back he once was, but he would provide the team with some serious competition for carries in the backfield and would be a solid veteran presence behind Gaskin in the depth chart and Tungavailoa on the field. Bell would be a great addition to the Dolphins and could have interest in linking up with Flora's team after considering their offer a year ago. He also isn't likely to be expensive, having signed just a one-year, $1 million deal with the Chiefs last year, giving the Dolphins a clear idea of how much he would cost in the short term. With a strong showing in 2020, with plenty of potential for growth under a well-respected coach, a partnership with the Miami Dolphins could be the perfect situation for the 29-year-old Bell to continue his career, and even give him two opportunities to take shots at the New York Jets, whom he had a difficult season with back in 2019.